What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. I have a ton, a massive ton of information that I need to get out to you guys about Farm Sim 19. I have gone through, I've gone through all the forums, I've gone through all the Q&As, I've gone through videos from E3. Um, as much information as a as comprehensive of a list that I can get together for you, I have gotten together for you. And don't worry, I'm going to leave this entire list in the description. Um, so I'm going to basically copy and paste my notes for this video in the description. So you'll be able to read these yourself. If you don't want to watch the video, you can just copy and paste for yourself. All that good stuff. It's a lot of stuff. So here we go. So everything that we know so far as of June 15th, 2018. John Deere's in the game. You baby. And if you haven't checked out the reaction video, Giants made a Farm Sim 19 reaction video, community reaction video, and your boy was in it two times. So here we go. John Deere's in it, along with Case IH, New Holland, Challenger, Fint, Massey Ferguson, Valtra, Deutzfar, Krona, and more. And as new brands are made available to Giants, they will make announcements on them and release that information to us. Uh, they have said that they will be adding them right up to the deadline of the game. And then past that point, I imagine they will be available as DLCs. Uh, we will have two new maps, one being an American map, the other being a European map, plus a redesigned Estancia La Pacho. Very excited about that. Uh, we'll have new activities. I can't even tell you what those are going to be. It just says new activities. So what are the activities that we can do right now? We can farm. <laughs> That's pretty much the only activities I can think about. Um, if you guys have any opinions or, or thoughts on that, drop it down in the comment section. But I'm having a hard time figuring out what the new activities are going to be. Um, we're going to have new machinery not seen in previous FS games. We'll have two new crops, cotton and oat, at least. That is what has been confirmed so far. Um, we also have sheep, pigs, cows, and chickens. Uh, horses have been added, and you'll be able to ride them. Um, not every horse will be the same. Some of them will be different, as we saw in the trailer. But there will likely be a limit on how many you can have. I'm not sure these are going to be a buy and sell for profit. Awkward yawn pause. Uh, I just think these are going to be something you can have in rides, kind of like an extra tractor or truck or something. Yeah, pretty cool. Either way, it's different, it's new, it's unique. I'm excited about it. Um, HDI rendering, which is high dynamic range, um, has to do with colors and textures. And PBR physically based rendering uh, are being used in the game to make it look as real as can be right now. Uh, obviously, every... Uh, every edition of FS. Excuse me. I apologize. I just woke up. Uh, <laughs> every uh, version of Farm Sim has gotten better and better and better. And we're still doing that. We're getting better and better and better. They're using new and different things to make it look better and feel better and just be better. And that is so cool. Um, birds have now been added. And sometimes they will follow your cedar around the field. Pretty realistic. I like that. Um, crops now react to machines when you drive over them with things like weeders. Um, however, the textures appear to be warped uh, rather than individual stalks being molded. Um, this information is uh, something I'm getting from someone who went to E3. Uh, weed control is now a separate system in the game. Weeds are visible and get pulled out by the weeder rather than the weeder just adding to the fertilization state. That's cool. That is really cool. Man, awkward yawn pauses are crazy today. <laughs> uh, that is so cool. Um, I don't use a weeder because it does nothing other than add to the fertilization state. And that is way cool. And I'll be using a waiter way more. Uh, crop destruction is now part of the base game instead of a mod. Now, granted, the mod was made by Giant. So that was, you know, so they get it. They know how to do it. 
and you can do it. But crop destruction is now part of the base game. I wonder if you could turn it on and off. I imagine you'll be able to turn it on and off. But that is cool. Instead of having to turn the mod on and off, you can just go in the options menu and turn that on and off. Perfect. Forestry is still in the game. And the crane controls on Scorpion King have been changed to be easier. Um, I never had a problem with them. But they were difficult to learn. So, there's that. The HUD window uh, is pretty much the same. It's reworked a little, and it's going to be more transparent to make gameplay a lot easier. Uh, the shop now has a 3D preview of machinery, so you can change the configuration of a vehicle and see what it will look like. And you can also move the camera around, zoom in and out, um, that kind of thing. That way you can, you know, Go in and out and back and forth. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Uh, the interiors of machines have new animations. Your character will manipulate the steering wheel, gas, and brake pedals as you drive. Uh, this can be seen from outside the machines as well. And the seats in the tractor, they showed, had an animated suspension. So, as you know, in FS17, we can see our character turn the wheel. And that's it. And it's cool. It works. But that is way cooler. That is way cooler. Uh, the, the sun now serves as a light source. Uh, instead of just being you know bright during the day, dark at night, uh, the sun, moon, and clouds will move around. Uh, and all objects will create a shadow. And clouds will turn gray before it rains. That's cool. That is going to be so realistic. And, and you're going to be like in the game, you know? Um that I'm, I'm very excited about. Uh, for PC players, uh, you'll be able to look and search for shortcut keys during the game. Um, that'll allow you to keep playing. You won't have to just stop, go back to the menu. Um, as I just bought it for, for Mac, I have been literally going back and forth. And finally, I just screenshotted all of the keys and have them on the second screen. Um, so that would be absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Giants have created their own brand new engine for FS19. Um, it was said that they were using someone else's engine at one point, but they're not. They're using their own engine. Um, even in the new screenshots we've seen, they are not finalized. So including the ones that we have just seen uh, a couple days ago. The trees could change. Uh, Spin said that no screenshot at this stage can fully capture what the final product is going to look like. And it is guaranteed to be astounding. Yes, that is exciting. Uh, some people were were complaining when the first screenshots came out, though they were cool. People were complaining, saying, "Oh well, you know, we had this in the last farm sim. We had these trees. We had this ground. We had this tractor." Hold, hold, slow your roll. <laughs> They're getting there, man. They're getting there. Um, the Agco Ideal Harvester is coming. And we will have a Fent version and a Massey Ferguson version. So cool. So cool. If you don't know the ideal, it's, it's extremely massive. Hop on Googles and, and type in, you know, ideal or Agco Ideal Harvester. It is awesome. Um, speaking of, I feel like a lot of the brands that we have seen are Agco. Um, but they have been a huge part of Farming Simulator in the past, and they will continue to be a huge part of Farming Simulator in the future. So that's exciting. Um, to my knowledge and to everyone else's knowledge that news, uh, there will still be a slot counter on each map. So unfortunately, we won't be able to just jump on and get whatever we want. Um, there will be a slot counter. I'm not sure if there's a slot counter on PC. Uh, I need to go back and double check that. I should check that before this video. But console players, as you know, there's a slot counter, and you cannot have anything more than that on that map. That is there to protect you, and that is there to keep the game running smoothly. That is not there to cause an annoyance or be like, oh, you can only have this much, ha, 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 ha. No, the game's going to crash if you do any more than that. That's why we can only have 200 bells, because if you have more than 200 bells, your game's going to crash, and it won't run smooth. So Giants has put that in there to keep your game running smoothly. It is for you, not just to go ha-ha. 
Uh, character customization will allow you to be truly unique with your gameplay. You'll be able to customize. I don't have a list of things that you will be able to customize. Um, but I think it will be more than just changing the color of your shirt. I imagine we're going to do... If they say character customization, I'm thinking shoes, pants, shirts, hats, glasses, eye color, skin color, everything. It would be truly unique and you'll be able to create yourself on Farming Simulator 19. At least that's that's what I think. Um, Pre-order is not available yet. However, if you type in... Uh, Farming Simulator 19 pre-order. There is a European GameStop, uh, which I'm guessing is not a real website. But I found this, and it keeps coming up. It's the first, first thing that pops up every time. Um, it says that Farm Sim 19 will be available for release um, on PlayStation 4 on, what is it, December 31st, 2018, which is totally unrealistic. And it's 40 euros, if you're curious. Um but you can expect more information uh, on this around FarmCon. Uh, that was not when they were supposed to release the, the release date. They were supposed to release the release date around E3. At least that's what they said. So expect now FarmCon. Uh, that is the next, next big thing going on. Um, mod maps. Let's talk about modding. Mod maps for FS17 will need some reworking but will be available to be transferred to FS19 once that has been done. Um, and not just mod maps, but mods as well. They will need to be resubmitted and, and all that good stuff. But once that's done, we can get them on FS19. So we will have mods on Farming Simulator 19. And now that John Deere is in there, I think we can expect some more farming or some more John Deere mods to come out which would be extremely exciting um, also talking about mods expect a drop in mods being released for FS17 once 19 is released I think that is just kind of like a understood you know obviously they're going to you know, focus on Farm Sim 19 and not Farm Sim 17 anymore they said they still will release some every now and then but it will not be all the time so with that being said, that is all the information that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you've not already, please subscribe. And we will see you later. Peace.